So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about why it's extremely important to open both lids of your septic tank when you go to get your septic tank pumped. So if we take a look at this septic tank, as you can see, it's pretty deep in the ground. So that was the inlet side of the septic tank because it is closest to the house. Now, if we look at the other side, that is the outlet because it's closest to the septic bed. So because the septic tank was so deep in the ground, the second lid of this septic tank actually hasn't been opened in a really long time. So if we take a look at the outlet side here a little bit closer, if you guys can see that, the outside baffle has actually rotted off. So this is a normal occurrence that actually happens in most septic tanks. So as years go on, the bacteria actually break down the concrete of the outlet baffle and it starts to crumble and just kind of break apart. So when that happens, as you can see, that floating sludge can go right out to that pipe and just right out to the septic bed. So this is what it looks like with some of the water pumped out. So if we take a little bit of a closer look, this is an important, like extremely important thing to be aware of every time you're getting your septic tank pumped out, because if you don't get that fixed and you don't realize that is rotted off, that can cause a lot of issues. So as you can see here, the septic lines are full of crap, literally. Like there's so much crap in the septic bed that it's not even actually able to absorb any more water in the bed. A ton, a ton of thicker waste. It's basically clogging up the septic bed. So what we did with this septic tank is we actually installed a filter on it. So basically now what that's gonna do is as the wastewater goes up, this filter is actually going to collect all of the solid pieces so it doesn't actually go out into the tile bed. So the filter has to be cleaned every six to eight months. I do have a helpful video if you guys have never actually cleaned a filter. They're super easy to do. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any other septic questions, be sure to comment them down below in the comment section. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this in the future. Hope you have an amazing day.